Cross coming through, right into the line, but Balsamo takes it in the center. Balsamo fights off the challenge of Voss. Elisa Balsamo's win at Gent Welvergum capped off an incredible seven days in 2022. But it's Zolo on the inside, there's Balsamo comes through right at the last minute and delivers for Trek Segafredo. With victories at both Trofeo Alfredo Binder and Brugge de Panna earlier in the week. The world champion takes it yet again. What a sprint, what a performance. Yet again, Balsamo takes it. The one-day races of spring are certainly a time for Balsamo to shine. But how have the preparations for the former Italian national champion been this year? The winter was really important for me because after the crash that I had in May, it was not easy to rebuild everything. So, and then I really started racing soon and I didn't have a lot of time to train. So this winter was really important for me and uh, I'm also really happy to be there with the, with the team. With a good winter of training under her belt, the sprinter has a few key targets in mind for the season ahead. My big goals are the classics, so I'm really looking forward for these races because they are my favorite one. Uh, and yes, my dream is to win one of them for sure. Having won on the Flandrian cobbles, does Elisa have any ambitions to take on the hills of the Ardennes? No, the Ardennes are too hard for me. I prefer the Flandrian classic. Uh, my favorite are uh, uh, Gent Wevergem and uh, Flandrian. So what makes these races so special for the 26-year-old? Belgium is uh, like a special place for cycling and uh, I really love all the people on the roads and also because I really like uh, the profile of these races uh, and there is something epic in these races because of the cobbles and honestly I really like them if the weather is not so bad <laughs> like last year but uh, uh, yes, these races are just special for me. Balsamo is one of a small niche of riders who has been as successful on Siberian pine as she has been on asphalt. Having become UCI world champion both on the road and in the team pursuit on the track. Italy are European champions in the team pursuit. Managing her focus between two disciplines can be challenging though, especially in years like this. It's not easy to find a, a good balance in between uh, road and track, but I'm really trying to find the perfect one this year because I think that uh, it's a super important year with the Olympic game, but, but also with a lot of uh, uh, important racing on the road. So uh, I think that it's possible to find the perfect balance and uh, I'm really trying to, to find it. And uh, yes, I love both. So. Uh, I, I try to achieve the best results on the track and on the road.